Is this your high score? Oh, yeah. But why am I in danger? Because you're beating me in Last War Survival. Bet you were trying to hit that skip button, huh? But yeah, I've been seeing this ad for the last few days now, and usually I skip it because it's like one of those fake mobile game ads you see all the time. You know, the weird ones that don't even match. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a scam, like no matter which way you cut it. But then I saw Anthony Starr there, Homelander, trying to sell me this game. And I'm like, excuse me? that. That's um, pretty strange, pretty strange, uh, yikes. Yummers. And the weirdest thing is it's multiple ads. It's not just this one ad. He, he's done multiple for this game. Everyone knows that stupid game isn't real. It's called Last War. It's going viral because the developers made a real game based off the fake game and the ads. Watch. Okay, here we go, Last War. All right, I'm multiplying, which is great because I need to kill all these little red men and there's more of me to do it. Shooting the tires out, killing more, scoring points, points, points. Leave this big red guy and he took me out with one punch. Download Last War, the new viral mobile. How will they quit you? I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at a loss of words here, like, come on, it, it just seems... Did, did his agent not let him know about this? Like, was there any background checks before he did this? Because, uh, it's just weird, man. I mean, it's not completely weird because celebrities have shown up for, like, mobile game ads. But those mobile game ads are for mobile games that actually do have backing to it gameplay content. For example, Raid Shadow Legends. Not this video's sponsor. <laughs> I'm not I, I'm not that big, but they had like Jeff Goldblum, I remember. Okay, my Raid Shadow Legends legends. We have a spider queen to slay. Yeah, so it, it's, it, it, it happens. So like you have all these kind of celebrities, celebrities being brought up for like mobile games that actually have a backing to it. This one, it's it, it's not like I went to search up like gameplay of it. Uh, apparently, there is no not that many dedicated Last War survival game playthroughs, which is a shame. Uh, we should really get on that. I, I like, start a streaming career based on that game, but I found this one in I'm thinking a foreign language. Hello guys, kita kembali lagi bersama Sakli Betro Level 33. Now, as you can see, it's a bit wishy-washy because in the commercials with Anthony Starr, it, it doesn't show bases. It just shows, you know, the constant moving left, right, shooting and all that. And to, to the gameplay's credit, it does show that aspect, right? But if you notice, the quality it's not compared to the ad because of course the ads for these mobile games are animations they're they're not actual gameplay the gameplay you get is like this kind of stock stocky pngs on barrels moving towards you and the worst part is like whenever i go to their actual homepage, um again the pictures they're showing eh, like for starters <laughs> Really, really getting it out there, Anthony Starr. And the fact of the matter is, it looks like they kind of photoshopped his head on top of another body because I don't think the, they had enough money to get him to pose for a camera. But yeah, so they show gameplay. And yeah, I, I just want you to look again. L look again. The, yeah, these, these two are not the same in any way, shape, or form. Like, it, it's wider. And it has way more graphical fidelity to it. But uh, I, I want you to notice another thing. As I'm going through this, do you see something that's different? The zombies, that's what I'm talking about. There's something different about the zombies that you see in the gameplay compared to what you see here. The zombies <laughs> are the ones from Plants vs. Zombies for some reason. And this is nothing new. The models are usually used in a way that they take from other games. I've, I've seen it many times in these ads. I don't think PopCap Games, the makers of Plants vs. Zombies, um, is working a collab 
with these guys. These guys being the first fun. I mean, that's what it says as the developer over here. And when I click the developer, I see the list of their games. And you could clearly tell which one they put more effort into because Heroes of Mythic Might is, um, it's uh, pretty much a gotcha game with attractive looking characters. And it looks like it's got uh, a bit more effort put into it than uh, the other one, graphic wise. But I guess you could say it's not 3D, so still still pr pr a bit more um work is definitely put into this than whatever the hell last war survival game is but i went into like looking into more what the heck is first fun it says first fun and then hong kong limited and they have some sites to go to i go onto their linkedin and they talk about how they're an internet entertainment company focused on games and social networking strong emphasis on global market expansion our experienced team continuously yeah yeah market speech here and there but uh yeah when you go to their website not bad but it's the, the only game they're showing is the last war one i'm surprised they don't just have an entire picture of anthony stark posing but hey that's that's what it is i guess so i go to their other website um yeah i i have no idea i it, it seems pretty barren and the banner doesn't really scream gaming studio it looks like uh office retail markets i don't know yeah, like i click games and they just show these two build master top war but going back to the ads, Anthony Starr looks like A, he's being held at gunpoint, and B, he's not really talking like himself. He's he's quite literally doing the Homelander voice. I mean, granted, they gave him the Homelander eyes and whatnot, so clearly they wanted him for a specific reason. But the man normally sounds a bit different. First name and the character that you play. Anthony Starr play Homelander. Tell me about your character. Character is a sociopath with, well, complete sociopath he's from New Zealand so he doesn't get to play that voice he's told specifically Homelander we want you to be Homelander and that's what he gave them but still it's just how how did this happen that's what I want to know thanks for coming uh now Mark tells me you gotta help me you gotta help me he's been keeping me hostage here for what? two fucking weeks two weeks what? man two weeks I gotta get out of here for oh, 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 oh. just chill <laughs> Want some kibble? Oh, I do, I do. Yum. There oh. you go, mate. Thank you. <laughs> like, did he not, is he not getting paid enough between seasons of the boys? Like, he, he's a respectable actor. Uh, he's got, <laughs> the paycheck could have been used up that fast. Come on now. Like, you can't be scraping the bottle on the barrel for mobile game ads. Like, it just doesn't make sense because he had a gig that he could have taken that would have paid him a decent amount, and that was Mortal Kombat, where his character Homelander comes. So if you wanted to play Homelander, why not play it in the game where he gets to play the character and not on a some watered-down video mobile game ad? It, it just makes no sense. It makes no sense. Uh, but uh, k kudos to the voice actor that voices him in the Mortal Kombat games. Definitely sounds really like him. You have chosen war with a god. No, you have. Yeah, the one who voices Homelander in Mortal Kombat, his name is Jake Green. Uh, I know him because he's played Morbius in not one, but two Marvel video games. So yeah, you could tell he, he's an expert at this. N no, 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 no doubts there. To, to wrap it up, it, it just feels like something you would see on Bot International. It, it, it's so fake or yeah, forced like how many f words can i put in here like a lot because it, it, it just feels so <laughs> it feels like cardboard cutouts man here you go drink this <laughs> see who would give that to a child i mean i guess that's the irony of it you have a show called the boys that is supposed to be a critique on capitalism and it just circles around to well try and sell more product <laughs> i mean 
I hate this planet. I genuinely hate this planet. I really think it was a miscommunication between an agent or something. I don't know how they got Anthony Starr. Like, how much money did they throw at him? Because if if Mortal Kombat wasn't giving him enough to like for him to be enticed to voice, how much did this mobile game thing give him? Like, I I know mobile games they make buck. People like me don't play it, but it's making its money somehow. I, I personally haven't met anyone who actually plays these mobile games, so I'm assuming it's like old people, uh, you know, the ones who enjoy like Candy Crush and stuff. So yeah, that makes sense. That's where the money's coming from. Still, tragic in every way, shape or form, because I, I hope, I hope he's getting paid well for the boys because the man does phenomenal work as Homelander. He's genuinely terrifying. His acting's really good. But the fact of the matter is if he's struggling this much for money that he has to go work here, I, I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know because that just makes me kind of concerned. Like if he's struggling in the job market, what, what what hope is there for me and anyone else? <laughs> but yeah, uh, jokes aside, it's one of those things, man. Celebrities do kooky stuffs all the time. I, I, I see a lot who do like commercials in different countries. Japan, for example. Again, Japan has many celebrities who do bizarre commercials there. But at least that kind of makes sense to a degree. Yeah, that's all there is. 